In the Demak district of North Java, Indonesia, the coastline is severely eroding. Mangroves that once protected the shore have been cut down and replaced by aquaculture ponds. Simultaneously, land subsidence is increasing due to groundwater extraction for domestic and industrial uses. This combination of factors has left the coastline and communities exposed to the daily tides and extreme weather events occurring more frequently due to climate change. Orang tua kami telah mengingatkan bahwa kami harus melindungi hutan mangrove dan tidak menebanginya untuk dijadikan tambak. Sekarang dengan hilangnya sebagian besar mangrove, laut telah menyapu tanggul-tanggul tambak kami hingga masuk ke daratan sekitar 1 mil dan desa telah kehilangan 25 baris tambaknya. In efforts to minimize tidal impacts, concrete sea walls were built, but these blocked the sediment transport in land and eventually collapsed in the soft mud. Efforts to plant mangroves also failed because the water had become too deep. A new approach was needed to restore coastal safety and revitalize the local economy. Local communities, scientists, governments and NGOs in North Java have designed temporary permeable wooden structures, trapping sediment and allowing mangroves to naturally recover. These structures are placed alongside sustainable aquaculture, boosting the local economy and increasing resilience. Five years on, the project has been implemented along 20 kilometers of the coastline and the Indonesian Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries has replicated the approach across 13 districts. Locally, land loss has been reduced, household incomes have tripled and communities are actively taking actions to address coastal erosion. But to ensure long-term success, institutional changes are needed to provide alternative water supplies so groundwater can be protected and land subsidence prevented in line with the mangrove restoration. On top of that, other pressing development objectives, including public participation, livelihood promotion and poverty reduction, are essential. Building with nature can help protect the coastlines and communities around the world. To achieve this, a supportive policy framework for building with nature is needed, along with capacity building in the public and private sector. To maximize impact, constitutional changes are needed to provide alternative water supplies so groundwater can be protected and land subsidence prevented.